What's up gamers, Veen588 here, welcome back to another Roblox video. Today, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about Artifact C in the game Isle. Also, before we start the video, I'd like to point out that most of you watching still aren't actually subscribed. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified when I release new videos. Alright, enough stalling, let's get into the video. So, there are three locations that you need to stop at to obtain the items to get this artifact. Those locations are, in order, the generators near the observatory, the docks on the northern face of the island, and a pool under the stone ruins. The only necessary item that you need to get this artifact is some diving gear from the docks. However, there is a parkour course that you must complete in order to reach the artifact and climbing gear helps tremendously with this, although it is possible to do without. Since there are no guaranteed climbing gear spawns, there is a chance you won't be able to get one. Some possible spawn locations that you could find a climbing tool at without straying too far from the route are the airdrop near the impact zone, the front, the generators, the warehouses, the mine entrance, the lighthouse, the plane shed, the broken minecart track, the docks, and the hangar. Like I said before, the climbing gear is helpful, but not required, so you don't have to stop at these locations. When you spawn into the game, the first location you want to get to is the generators near the observatory. To get to them, take a slight left and head into the forest and follow the jungle along the beach. If you want to try to get climbing gear, you could follow the beach itself to check to see if any of the houses have climbing gear in them. Once you reach the generators, you'll want to power the docks. The fuse slot for the docks is the, in the middle right. If you don't put the fuse in the correct spot, you can move it by simply clicking or tapping on the fuse and then clicking or tapping on where would, you would like to put it. Now that the docks are powered, it's time to head over to them. Exit the generators and head into the woods towards the Grand Lake. When you get to the shore of the lake, swim across to the hut on the western shore and then follow the dirt path towards the general area of the plane ship. When the path turns towards the plane shed, keep going straight and don't stop until you reach a cliff. Now, I would advise checking the broken minecart tracks for any loot, since it's not too much of a detour and I have found climbing gear here before on multiple occasions. Once you're done with that, take a slight right and head to the docks. Now, you want to fill the oxygen tank for diving. To do this, simply grab one of the many diving gear lines that's laying around and place it in this machine by touching it. While you are waiting for that to finish, you can head over to the docks to ponder why these fishing poles aren't real. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? <clears throat> anyway, I also normally check the dock house for any climbing gear. But after you're done doing that, the oxygen tank should be full, so head back to the machine and take the diving gear off.
Now it's time to get the artifact. Take a right and head up this hill towards the hangar. This is another spot that you can check for climbing gear and it seems to spawn here a lot, so I advise checking the hangar as well. When you're done there, exit the hangar and take a slight left up this hill. The stone rooms should be directly in front of you. Head into them and then follow the path until you reach a natural bridge. Once there, Equip your climbing gear and jump off into the pool and swim down into the hole at the bottom. Now, you must complete this parkour course to get the artifact. If you don't have a climbing tool, be careful with your jumps since you could slip if you land in the wrong spot. If you do fall off at any point, just follow the water back until you reach an opening and then circle back around the hill to the stone roads. When you reach the end of the parkour, follow the tunnels until you find a hole in the floor. Drop down and you'll be at the artifact. As with all artifacts, you can equip it by holding it in your hand and clicking anywhere on the screen. It'll float it behind you and give you the messages you feel strange and something else draws me to your art. I explain the meaning of this message in a video covering the basics of the artifacts in the aisle, which will be coming up very soon. Go to equip the artifact, simply click on it and it'll drop to the ground. So what does Artifact C do? Well, it allows you to see every item on the map, along with the marks, players, and another creature that slithers through the depths. Now, this is super useful, but it also creates one of the coolest scenes in the entire game. So, excuse the lag, but if you turn your render distance up all the way while in a cave, it creates something of a starry sky on the wall. Other than looking cool, this artifact is most useful for finding underwater loot such as energy lancers and ammo crates, and because you have the diving gear, you can search for them with ease. While we are on the topic of underwater loot, it's time for a bonus tip. So, you're looking for some strange strength or energy weapons, but all that keeps spawning are these strange rocks. These can be useful tools when used correctly. If used, the rock will turn green and teleport you to a random location on the island, similar to the green portals that spawn at various locations. Once used, you won't be able to drop the rock for a few minutes in it until it turns gray again, so use it wisely. Now you may be thinking to yourself, how exactly is this useful? And I used to think that as well, but it is a wonderfully reliable escape tool. Because it can instantly teleport you, you can use it to get out of danger, such as the mercs, hostile players, or even Stan. It can also be used to skip long treks back from places that are out in the middle of nowhere, which is what I used it for. Now, as you could see here, it did throw me into the middle of Stan's territory, but I think I just got unlucky. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified when I release new videos. Until next time, peace out gamers.